This is a demo on using the on-target precision calculator to find the center of your groups to uh, use with the optimal charge weight method. So at this point you have taken a picture, you've shot your targets, you've taken a picture of your targets and pulled those onto your computer. So open up the on-target precision calculator application, go to file, open image, and then choose the image of your target. Now this is my 55 grain Sierra Blitz King with my 22 250 at 200 yards. Uh, and these are the five shots and here's the ruler for scale. You can do these steps in any order, but usually what I do first is to set the reference. So I click the set reference button with the two blue plus signs and the line between them. And on my ruler, I click, hold, and drag. I usually go, since I'm using a standard tape measure, I usually go from the one inch to a uh, larger number, so in this case 12, but that's actually only 11 inches. So once we have that, we let up. So that was a click, hold, drag, and let up. And we set that to 11 inches. Okay, next we'll want to set the center of the target. So we go to the crosshair, should look like your rifle scope that says point of aim. And we put that point of aim right in the middle of the target. And it puts, a, it's hard to see when you have a black circle, but that puts a double black circle in the middle of the target. Now we'll set the range. In this case, it's 200 yards, but you can set that to the range drop down. And the hole size, which is the actual bullet diameter, in this case, a 22250 is 0.224 inches. And now we can go to the input bullet holes with the arrow and the little circle inside the big circle. So you click that. And the strange thing about this is you have to click twice, not double click, click twice. So I don't think the first click, click matters at all. It just says, I'm going to put in a bullet hole. So click once, center the circle over the bullet hole, and do that for each of the holes. Okay, so this is our group, and it was two and a half inches at 200 yards, or 1.2 minutes of angle, that would be about 1.2 inches at 100 yards. Not great, but it wasn't one I worked up, this was just a test one I shot. Uh, for the optimal charge weight, what you want to take note of is the group offset horizontal and the group, group offset vertical. Uh, these are what I use. I just have a sheet of graph paper. I mark the center and then I plot on that graph paper these two numbers. Then you find the three closest and take the middle charge of that. Uh, so these are these are what you want to end up with out of uh, out of your tests. So if you want to save that target, you can do File, Save Graphic As, choose a place for it. Save my target JPEG. Then you can share that with all your friends.